guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. How's it going? Hope so good. My name is Siobhan Shayna, the Shayna Bell. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I also want to thank everyone who has been subscribing to my channel, supporting me, liking my videos, and commenting. It means so much to me, and I appreciate I appreciate each and every single one of you guys. Today, I'll be doing another pick a card reading, and the topic today is why are they obsessed with you? So you can think about anyone that you want to if you want to ask about different people you can check different piles for different people just set the intention before you click on the pile or you know think of the person and then go to the pile that you're most drawn to um i will have the pictures up right now and you can meditate on the different pictures on the different piles and then go to the pile or the picture that you are most drawn to Again, I love each and every single one of you guys, and I thank you so much for being here, for being here with me, supporting me, and subscribing to my channel. And I'll see you guys in my reading. In your reading. Okay, how rude! As soon as I start, well, so. <laughs> Part number one, I just got a text message saying probably later on tonight by the guy that I'm talking to. So you, you could very well be getting a text message from this person or being asked out tonight or something like that. Um, but something about later tonight when you're watching this video is going to be important. Okay, that's what's something you know. Okay, don't be clicking. <laughs> yeah, okay. Let me know what happens later tonight because I want to know. Literally, as soon as I press play, that happened. But anyway, let's get into your reading. So, pile number one, if you pick the picture of the stack of books with um, candles that's like mimicking statues or like sculptures on top of like the co column or like panel thing, I don't know what it's called. But if you pick that picture, this is the reading for you. So, Lord Heavenly Father, please tap me into pile number one's energy so I may deliver these messages to them with accuracy and precision, honesty and truth for the good of all and harm to none. Amen. Lord Heavenly Father, why is that person obsessed with them? Why is pile number one's person obsessed with them? I'm going to start off with the Goddess Journey, the Goddess Journey um, Oracle. No, Major Arcana Tarot deck. We have Judgment coming out first. So you could be a, Lib a Libra, or they can be a Libra. It also has Pluto, and Pluto I believe is Scorpio. So either one of you guys could be a Scorpio. Um, but Judgment's most definitely the Libra, so I don't know why it's like that. Self-evaluating, self-evaluation, awakening, renewal, purpose. Okay, so, so okay, now I understand why they put Pluto, Pluto there. Okay, but anyway, with this card, one, you're very high maintenance. And or you have very high standards and you're judgmental, but not in like a negative way, but more so in the sense where it's like, you're not gonna stick around and stay in a situation that you don't like. Uh, you won't stay around people who you feel as though doesn't have any type of decorum and doesn't know how to act in public. Um, you will not stick around somebody who doesn't treat you correctly or you are very judgmental like you judge people like rightfully so though like you're not gonna look at somebody who's like far away who's not bothering you have nothing to do with you and be like oh my gosh do you see what she's wearing like you maybe you would but <laughs> maybe I don't really think that's not the type of energy is giving like you're not giving mean girl you're giving if you're gonna be in my energy and if you're gonna be in my space then you better come correct and whether it's a friend, a family, lover, it doesn't matter. If you're trying to be in my world, then you have to you have to carry yourself a specific way, carry yourself a certain way. You have to be of a certain standard. You have to have a certain form of education or some sort of success or something like that. Like you don't just let anyone be around you because you're not just anyone. At the bottom of the deck, we have tow the Tower card, which is Scorpio. So heavy scorpio energy there's also mars in this so that's aries um changes destruction upheaval tra trauma so you will leave people behind and you have no problem leaving people behind which can these two cards take together because you have to you learn from the past that you have to cut people off in order to reach a certain standard yourself a lot of people will keep you down a lot of people want to keep you down a lot of people hold you back so you learn okay well 
if this person's not ready to upgrade up level like they're supposed to in order to keep up with me like i am then they're going i'm going to have to leave them in the past and you do that uh, another thing that i was seeing with this is that you're very self-aware so you self-evaluate yourself very often so you pay attention you look yourself in the mirror and you are real with yourself so you're not only judgmental of other people and telling them like oh yeah if you want to be in my life you have to come correct and know how to like carry yourself and know how to dress on certain occasions and things like that but you also do it with yourself which is why i'm getting it's not it's not giving mean girl it's having standards and then there is no standard that you don't uphold yourself right you just you hold other people to the same standard you hold yourself honestly i feel as though you hold yourself to a higher standard than you hold most people anyway so it's like if you are you are more lenient when it's other people or you will at least give other people like more leeway because you're like okay everybody has their own dreams and aspirations and things it's just so you can do what you want as long as you do it well you get what i'm saying so you can have a different sense of style than i do however you still need to be able to put it on you know you still need to be able to wear the clothes and not have the clothes wear you you still have to look put together you still have to know okay we're going to this place then you have to know okay if we go to this place this Yes, you can still put your style and your personality into it, but if we're going to church, you're not gonna come there with a hooker outfit on. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you're going, if we're going to church, you're going to be a little bit more moderate. If we're going out to brunch, you're not going to wear like sweats. You know what I'm saying? Like, yes, you could be more of an urban type of style, but at the same time, you can still put on some nice heels and you can wear there's some good jeans and heels and you know i'm not i don't want to go too into like everybody's personal style which you know what i'm saying this is not the what you said if you want to see that go watch that video but you get what i'm saying like there is yes we have different fashion senses or different aesthetics different preferences all that stuff but at the same time they need to come correct so say it's like with men right you have friends around you your friend likes hood guys okay cool and you like proper like college educated men okay cool you can like those type of men but that man better be hood rich that man still should have some type of morals and values and have some type of manners so when we go if we're going to a family event and we're having a cookout and i bring him to bring him around my family he should still have manners and know how to conduct himself he shouldn't there should be no gang violence coming around us things like that you know like you could be lenient where it's like okay i'm not going to be all in your business but understand when you're coming around me you better be acting right and if not then you cut them off that's why people are obsessed with you that's crazy and then we have imprints empress under that and that's literally what i was gonna go in next because people are obsessed with you because of this because they're like okay sis is literally she practices what she preaches she's so beautiful she's so put together well mannered very high standing has great values great morals all that stuff and it's like she really if everybody can't sit with you so when everybody can't sit with you that makes people want to sit with you more because they're like it it feeds their ego to know that they have a place at your table because it's so ex in, in, so exclusive yes it's you're not inclusive and i don't mean that in a bad way because you know the whole world is all about being inclusive and you know body positivity and having you know letting everybody be a part the, the we was not made for that i'm so sorry that is not how the world is supposed to be because then that's how things go to shit. respectfully when i i'm not saying that what the thing is it should be inclusive in a sense where it's like if it's something you can't control don't exclude somebody for something they can't control but if it's something they can control like don't exclude somebody because of their race clearly no or their sex i mean depending because like there's certain like sororities fraternities clearly you're gonna you know things like that like gender specific things like that's different okay gender orientation then or their sexual orientation things like that don't exclude people for things like that but you can exclude people for the things that they can control right you want to act like you have no sense you can't sit with me you want to have no type of values or morals 
you can't sit with me you want to walk out your house looking sloppy all the time you can't sit with me and it's one thing it no i was gonna say it's one thing if it's like every once in a while because you was running really late and yada yada but at the same time you can always have those you know lounge comfortable quick to throw on easy wear outfits where it's still well put together and you still look good like i have specific like leggings and like tops and things like that that i would wear when i know i'm not having a good day and i'm in a slump but i literally bought those pieces for those type of days because i know those days come and i still want to look good even when i'm not in the mood to look good you know what i'm saying so you're somebody who's like if i can do it you can do it and if you can't do it then you're not for me and it's just that simple signs out of here already talked about signs the whole time we have libra and taurus coming out as well and again so yes you're very beautiful so people are obsessed with like looking at you that's another reason why people want to sit with you oh let me do a reading on why people want to sit with you why people want to spot at your table that's what i'm gonna do next okay but yeah so people are very adamant on people are obsessed with you because it's like they feel as though you don't really give no one the time of day you don't really people don't see you often you're like one in a million like you only pop out here and there like you're not somebody who's always at the occasion always at the spot you are like you might be there every once in a while but that's kind of what makes you even more intriguing because they're just like people will go to that spot that they know that you frequently go to in hopes of seeing you and then you know there's more often than not they don't see you so then they're like man i wish i saw her today so then they're like you know what i'm gonna come tomorrow i'm gonna come earlier because maybe she was here but i missed her and or him you know so people like People go where you go so in hopes of seeing you. So if you was to this post like, oh, my favorite spot, like I love going to this spot, is my favorite spot to go eat, yada, yada, then they're going to be like, you'll see a lot more people. Like, look out at who you be seeing. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Make a noise. Okay, yeah, but things that you uh, recommend, people like. Also, you could be somebody who people watch on their TV quite often because that was my TV that went off. So whether you do like YouTube videos or you act or something like that, people watch you on their TV, like on their big screen. So like right now I'm watching YouTube on my TV. So even if you're just on YouTube, know that people are watching you on the TV. So like people are seeing you as a star, a movie star, a TV star, things like that because they're watching you on their tv but yeah part number one that was your reading i hope it resonated if it did make sure to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below letting me know what power you came from and how it resonated also be sure to subscribe to this channel with the bell notification on so you can be notified whenever i upload i post every single day sometimes multiple times a day so you know just be on the lookout also in the description box you'll be able to find the links to my other platforms for tiktok instagram Twitter, Pinterest, and you'll find the link to my Patreon, which is which you can subscribe to. I have multiple different tiers, so I have um, I have like four different tiers, I think, and the different tiers has different discount codes for um, different discount codes for my personal readings, and you can book a personal reading from me on Etsy. My personal readings are hundred dollars. If you buy different tiers, then the different tiers has different percentages off, and the discount code is once you enter into the tier, you'll be able to find a discount code. Um, but yeah, those are all of my messages for you, loves. I love each and every single one of you guys, and I'll see you in my next reading. Bye. Okay, pile number two. If you pick the picture of the rose with the Dior bow on it then this is the reading for you so lord heavenly father please tap me into power to his energy so i may deliver these messages to them with accuracy and precision honesty and truth for the good of all and harm to none amen lord heavenly father why are people obsessed with my pile number twos okay so you could just be like really girly very simple very elegant um you can 
give luxury whether you own luxury or you don't you just give off luxury you give off exclusive you give off special you give off one of a kind you give off expensive like people feel as though if they was to approach you or if they were trying to date you they would have to spend a lot of money on you um so then that could cause people to be like scared to approach you or scared to actually like give you a chance and then that just makes people obsessed with you because instead of actually getting to know you and spending time with you and talking to you they just watch you from a distance and they watch you on like social media um and when i say a distance i mean like in person too like when you're say you're in class or you're at work or you're in the movie theaters or you're in the mall you're at the park it doesn't really matter where you are you're on public transportation it doesn't matter where you are even in a car or like an uber like people are staring at you the whole time trying to they're kind of making up a story in their head about who you are um, which is kind of putting you even more on a pedestal because not only did they just initially look at you and thought okay that person's expensive she's so well put together or oh, he's so well put together and well mannered and just has perfect posture and just so gorgeous like they have to be expensive you know like your nails are always done your hair is always done you always have like some type of makeup on your outfits are always well put together and they're just like you know you know like you're high maintenance right you know that's a high maintenance woman you know she's expensive even if you're out in like a restaurant and you're eating by yourself or with your friends and everything like that they'll probably they're thinking in their head like she's probably not even paying for that herself her man probably um, sent her money for that even though he's not here to spend time with her he's still spending money sending money to her so she doesn't have to like she gets princess treatment all the time like that's what people are thinking when they see you why are people obsessed with pile number two and then because they're making up these stories in their head it just makes them like so obsessed with you like think about how obsessed people were with serena and like blair from gossip girl like people always want to know what they was doing like gossip girl was literally mainly about um and when i say gossip girl, i don't mean the show i mean the blog in the show right the only people they really was tweeting up like blogging about was mainly serena because she was the main it girl blair nate chuck and then dan but spoiler alert if you never watched gossip girl and plan on watching it skip like 10 seconds but dan was gossip girl and he barely even got tweets you know so it's just like like blogs and then jenny every once in a while but then again like i said it's again spoiler alert um they so skip some more that was it skip some more but um jenny ended up finding out that dan, dan was gossip girl and he she had allowed him to post those things about her you know so it's like people want everybody wants to be on gossip girl everybody wanted to be blogged on gossip girl but then the people who was being blogged on gossip girl all the time they didn't really want that so then that could be you like that's another reason why people are so obsessed with you because you get so much attention you get all this attention people want to see more people want to know more about your life people want more of an insight on who you are and what you're doing and all that stuff but you don't like sharing your business you would rather keep yourself keep your business to yourself so it could be like think paparazzi right like people who aren't that famous they always want paparazzi following them around like they'll call paparazzi to pull up to take pictures of them but then the people who have paparazzi following them around all the time are like oh my gosh like i get no privacy i just want to be a normal girl yeah yeah yeah, yeah so you give you're the type of person who people always want to take pictures of you people always want to hang out with you people always want to talk to you people always want to spend time with you people always want to know more about your life people always want more content from you more songs from you whatever the case is people always want to see you out more but then you're the type of person who's just like i would rather spend today in my bed i would rather just put on a mask light some candles make myself a, pour myself a nice glass of wine or make myself like a nice margarita or martini and sit in front of my tv or call up reading a book and just enjoy your time relaxing instead of going out and having to talk to all these people and be out be out in the real world where is cat <laughs> i'm laughing because say <laughs> although i haven't even pulled a card yet this is all just channeling let me pull some cards for you <laughs> why are people obsessed with pound number two let's take that the lovers yeah this is i'm getting more of this okay self-love i was gonna say i'm getting more so self-care with this 
self-love self-care like they align okay self-love partnerships relationships choices okay so this is literally what i was saying okay so choice self-love that's the whole you would rather just have a, fa a face mask pour yourself a glass of wine or make yourself like a nice margarita or a martini a cocktail light some candles some incense curl up watching a nice love romance movie or reading a nice romance book a romance novel just like enjoying like escapism into like the perfect world with the perfect love life and the perfect partner partnerships it's like in relationships this is where i was saying like everybody wants to be with you everybody's scared to approach you um everybody's like oh you everybody thinks that you are in a relationship with somebody and somebody is spoiling you and pampering you and sending you money even if you go out to eat by yourself or if you're out with your girls people are just assuming that somebody else is paying for that meal for you when you get your hair and nails done people are assuming that somebody's sending you the money for that and then choices it's like you would rather you choose when you want to go out you choose what you want to do, who you want to spend your time with, and you're not really worried about what anyone else thinks, what anyone else has to say, what anyone else is doing, because you are that it girl. <laughs> you are that it girl. You should watch the reading that I did of why you the it girl, but you are literally her. Who is this? Like, why are you trying to use my... Who is German? Like, people... Somebody's trying to cast a video on my tv right so people are always trying to get into your space i press always block so you might have to block people a lot like you always have to block somebody um so like past lovers ex-friends and like that you have to block them because they're so obsessed with you that even once you cut them off or you stop spending time with them they will continue to call and text you and you will have to block them in order to get your peace and peace and quiet quiet so with the lovers, you could be a Gemini, but then they also have Mercury in here. So Mercury is Gemini and Virgo, but the lovers card is Gemini. Okay, and then at the bottom of the deck, we have Judgment. So you might want to watch Pile 1 because it's also, this is the first card that came off of Pile 1. You don't have to if you wasn't called to, if you don't want to. However, you might want to. Okay, you might have been called to. So this could be, um, Judgment is Libra, but then at the same time, they also have Pluto at the top. So then that is scorpio so you can be a libra scorpio virgo gemini um and then with judgment again you might want to go watch part one but with judgment basically you are very judgmental but like not in a bad way i explained this more in part one but you just basically have standards and you're not going to go somewhere where you don't feel as lines with that you don't feel like aligns with you meaning like if you feel as though somebody doesn't know like <sighs> For example, I feel like there's certain people I'll go out with them and they clearly don't know how to act in certain places. You can tell they ain't never been any they have never been anywhere, like anywhere of value or anywhere like classy or elegant or upscale. And it's like they act like they've never left their house before. They look around and everything like, oh my god. And I'm not saying like not to be grateful, you know, to act like you're not, you know, impressed with something, but act like you've been somewhere. You know, act like you got some type of decorum. You're not going to go to a five-star restaurant and act like how you act when you go to Chuck E. Cheese's. This is not a playground. This, this is not an amusement park. This is not an arcade. We are at a five-star Michelin star restaurant. Dress the part. Act the part. Like, let's be so for real, you know? So you're somebody who knows how to put things together. You know how to act like you have your life together. And again, I'm not saying, like, you, you don't act like you're the hottest things in sliced cheese like i feel as though you're not acting to be something you're not you're not acting like something you're not you are acting like yourself and you are just somebody who's very high value very high class you've been places you have experience and things like this so you expect other people if they're going to be in your space and take up your time that they also know how to act and have been places and have the experience and if they don't then you're going to opt out of going places with them I'm gonna try to pull one more card for you. So what are people? Yeah, okay. Why are people obsessed with you? We have the Hermit. Boom! Didn't I say Virgo? The Hermit card is Virgo. See the Mercury at top. So again, Virgo or Gemini. But and this is literally what I was talking about. Oh my gosh, my intuition is so spot on. It's so good. It's so good. The Hermit card. You like to be home. You like to be by yourself. You will opt and you will opt out of going places with people, and you would choose to be by yourself. You like cuddling up with a, in those a uh, bunch of books, right? You like cuddling up with a bunch of books. So you could have came from pile number one. I'm not going to hold you because the photo for pile number one is a stack of books. 
with candles on top. Oh! So yeah, you could very much feel like curling up. You could have like a balcony or like a rooftop that you can go to. Um, and you have like one of these swinging chairs on there. Not necessarily have to, but you know, and then you also just like having very nice, cute loungewear so you can feel comfortable and still look cute. You could vlog and do like lifestyle vlogging. Um, so you like, you know how to tailor your house and your home outfits and things like your home decor to look very nice. And you preach about self love and you teach other people how to have self love, whether you're single or not. So I feel so you very much so take care of yourself. You pay for your nails, you pay for your hair, maybe your man chips in here and there, or like men who try to court you chip in here and there but at the same time regardless you was getting your nails done on a regular basis regardless you was getting your hair done on a regular basis regardless you was going shopping on a regular basis whether it's your parents paying for it a man paying for it you're paying for it it doesn't matter you make sure that you're taken care of and you like you take care of yourself right and it's like if a man's going to be in your life this is where the standards come from too if a man's going to be in your life and you're going to be saying my man my man my man he better be paying for these things because why are you going to be like, why are you saying my man, my man, my man, but yet you're still using your money to pay for all these things? You still have to open the door when you're around your man. What, why is he here? You feel me? So you probably have that mindset where it's just like, if I have to be around, if, if I have to be around a man, period, I should not be doing man's, manly things, masculine things, like paying for the check, paying the bill, opening a door, opening a drawer, a jar, pulling out a chair those are man things those are men things those are masculine things that the man should take care of and if there is a man around me especially if it's supposed to be my man why am i still doing it i must be single <laughs> like i must not be with a man <laughs> oh my gosh we have judgment oh yeah i've already spoke about judgment right yeah that's where the whole judgment came from the whole that's you judging like not just the friends but also on the romantic side like you'd be like okay well if I have to do this myself, then I can't be like my man, my man, my man. But then when your man does do all these things, you're just like, oh my gosh, my man, my man, my man. I love my man. Oh my gosh, my man. He's so great. Like, my man takes care of everything. My man makes me have to lift a finger. I never have to pay for anything. I can just switch off my brain. And ah, my man is just so great. I love my man so much. Ah, he takes such great care of me. My life has become so much better and so much easier since my man has come into my life. Ah, life is so great. I love my man. <laughs> my man my man my man <laughs> anyway pile number two that is your reading i hope it resonated if it did make sure to leave a comment below letting me know what pile you came from and how it resonated also give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel with the bell notification on so you can be notified whenever i upload also you can check out my description box down below so you can check out my other platforms, all of them are linked in the description box for TikTok, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter, which is now called X. You can also find my Patreon where you can subscribe to my Patreon. I have multiple different tiers. The different tiers give you a different percentage off of my personal readings, which you can also book through my Etsy, which is also linked in the description box below. So make sure you check out my description box for all my information. You can also find out my big six in my description box and what um what equipment i use to record so yeah i love each and every single one of you guys and i'll see you guys in my next video bye okay pile number three if you pick the photo of the chanel uh chanel number five perfume added perfume then this is the reading for you so lord heavenly father please tap me in to pile through this energy so i may deliver these messages to them with accuracy and precision honesty and truth for the good of all and harm to none amen lord heavenly father why are people obsessed with pile number three so people are obsessed with you because of your scent so you smell very good whether you wear perfume or not um so your pheromones as well people are very drawn to your natural musk <laughs> your natural scent in your pheromones also you can just be very into perfumes and lotions and smell good things like candles as well you could also be very into chanel and wear a lot of chanel i feel like you walk you don't walk out the house with some without some type of chanel on um that's only for some people though you can honestly own chanel number five or the perfume do they have a booth called Chanel Number Five? I don't even remember. Or oh, you could know that um, cartoon. 
when it was like all of them was named Chanel. <laughs> Well, why are people obsessed with um you could also your jewelry so you can also own carnelian which is a crystal and uh, that's known for um known for making you obsessed with them um or you can just do that that um affirmation where it's like no matter where he is no matter who he's with he's always thinking about me so yeah you could also be like a siren or like a dark feminine um, or listen to those like subliminals or like songs that are meant to make men obsessed with you that's crazy that that's coming out yeah there's literally a seashell here this looks like it's underwater so that's giving like you like manifesting people being obsessed with you okay so no hold on why are people obsessed with my problem with threes? This whole deck is upside down. Clarity, releasing fear, uncertainty. Okay, so we have the moon in reverse. So you could be a Pisces or a Cancer. Um, we also have 18, which is 9. We do down to 9, so like the endings. So, okay, so you bring people clarity. Um, and... Uh, Okay, people are obsessed with you because you're very straightforward and to the point. Um, you could be somebody who's like very sexual um, or like very tapped into your sexuality. So if you want something, like you don't fear going after what you want. Uh, you could be a man and you're like a dominant type of man. You don't have to be a man if you're watching this, so don't tap off. Or you could just be like very masculine, like in your divine masculine energy, where you go after what you want, you're very um, affirmative um, and headstrong. And so it's giving like Aries energy, where you go, like all like the feminine form of this energy with like giving Pisces and Cancer, like I said, you might be. You are somebody who you'll dream of something and you'll or like you visualize something and you'll have it manifest for you. Like you would your way of being forward is that you would literally clearly envision what you want and then allow it to come to you and not play games when it comes to you. When like you'll envision it, have them come to you and then be like, Okay, well, like you know, like you'll know that they're gonna come. Like you knew clear as day that they was gonna come to you anyway because it's like you envisioned it that's what you wanted that's what you manifested that's what you was like attempt that's what you was trying to manifest and you manifested it and you know that your manifestations always come true so yeah but then again back to like the male the, if you're more in the masculine energy you will walk up to somebody and be like i want you and then put in the energy and the effort so you can be somebody like say you're a man you can be a trick and then people know it ain't tricking if you got it you know so you can be somebody who was like okay you don't have problems Take, like you'll take a girl on a date to go shopping or you'll take a girl to a Michelin star restaurant or a five star restaurant Like you don't mind spending money on your girl if you know you want them like you have clear intentions of what you want from somebody um, Like you have clear intentions when you want somebody who you want and you'll go after it without fear Because you know that they're going to want you to so even if you're a man you could um, wear designer stuff, wear designer colognes, and you smell really good. I'm seeing uh, Dior's Savage or Savage, that one. And then we have the Hermit in reverse, so you could like going out, so a lot of people see you out. This is very different energy from the first two piles. I'm not gonna hold you. That's why I was a little like confused <laughs> when we first started. I was just like, this is completely different energy. Uh, and the first two was like very similar, but yeah so you like going out so you could um be somebody who goes to like a lot of bars and like a, a lot of nightclubs and you'll be somebody who buys girls drinks um and not even in a sense to try to manipulate them to come home with you it's just if you see something that you like you like to spoil them and you like to take care of them you might ask them for their number but you're not gonna like you might take them home with you like I'm low-key getting the energy of you know taking them home with you, but then I'm getting you when you want a relationship with somebody who you took home at night from a bar or club like that. So don't do that. That's not that's gross energy. I'm not gonna hold you. Like don't do that. <laughs> I don't wanna judge, but respectfully I would rather that not have the energy. I'm like like go some go watch somebody else somebody else's 
readings i don't want that energy <laughs> if that's the case like if you just take girls home and just like you know use them and then leave them because you bought them one drink at the bar or like a couple of drinks at the bar like that's not what we do here but yeah so you you don't fear rejection you um you kind of know that you're not gonna get rejected if you approach a woman um or even if you are a woman and you are interested in men then you know if you go to a man and ask him to get you a drink like men actually get men ask to buy you drinks all the time when you go out and you know if he was to approach a man and ask them to get you a drink then you know they would say yes so you're very confident that's why people are obsessed with you men and women whether you're watching this you are very confident people are obsessed with your confidence and how you portray yourself to the world like you have nothing to hide you know who you are you're very um confident in yourself oh also you could be a virgo or gemini um hierophant so you can be why is it venus hierophant is I'm pretty sure. Oh, it's Taurus. Facts. Okay, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> I think it was Sagittarius. I state like I don't know. Okay, so Hierophant is Taurus. This Venus here, so you can also be a Libra. And then I was feeling Sagittarius energy, so both we'll in Sagittarius. So signs here: Pisces, Cancer, Sagittarius, Libra, Taurus, and what was what was at the bottom of that before? Hermit, Gemini, and Virgo. Okay. Um, I know Hermit is literally Virgo energy, but they had Mercury at the top, and Mercury is ruled by both Virgo and Gemini. Okay, so plus they got two dancers up here, like the twin dancers. Gemini's are twins, so I can throw it in there if I want to. Okay, thank you. Anyway, you can also be like very educated. Um, Oh, I see like duality here, especially with Gemini energy here. So you can be somebody who like goes to the club at night and then on Saturday night and then go to church Sunday morning to repent. Uh, it's so funny. I was talking to a, a reverend <laughs> the other day. Uh, tomorrow will make, make a week, I believe. I was talking to a reverend and he was saying how the 12 p.m. service is for all the people, all the club goers. <laughs> Who <laughs> they they go to the club at nighttime and then go to the twelve o'clock service because you know they got home late and then repent for what they did the night before. I was like, hey, well at least they're repenting. <laughs> A lot of people don't even do that. Okay, but yeah, you're just really smart. People love speaking to you. You sound very educated and well knowledge and knowledgeable in whatever it is that you're talking about. Um, we have yes at the bottom of the deck. So people also obsess with you because you don't say yes to everybody. People will say yes to you all the time. However, you don't always say yes to people. And I feel like you honestly are more so the person who is like, you let people, like you're the ones who go after the people. Like if you want them, they'll know, right? If you want somebody, it's you let them know and then that's how you get them. You get what I'm saying? Like if somebody comes up to you, Unless you like the type of person who like visualize them and then they come up to you. But like I said, that like you kind of give them that energy and that push forward to come to you. Like if you wasn't checking for them, they're probably not going to get a yes. You're not somebody who really gives people the time of day or like give people a chance. And that's what makes people obsessed with you because you, you're very high value. You know what you want. You are very self-aware. You're very, you know yourself. That's what kind of the hierophant is giving to me like you know yourself and you're not going to really conform to what people are telling you that you need to do or like if somebody was people could have told you multiple times like you need to lower your standards or something like that or like kind of change something about yourself and you're just like how about you do that like like um hello like you are very clear about what you want and who you want like you have a very clear vision of your future and what you want and that's why people are obsessed with you because they're like this person they kind of think you're a little delusional because they're like this person thinks that they're gonna get the sun the moon and the stars and forgetting that the sun is the sun is also a star so if you get the sun then you also get the star and it's just like okay so if you work smarter not harder like if I go after the sun, then I get the sun and the stars. And actually, the sun is closer than the moon, so it's easier to get the sun than to get. It's easier to get the moon than get the star than get the sun. So I can easily just easily just get the sun, and then on my way back, get the moon as well. And then boom, I got the sun, the moon, and the stars. <laughs> like, I don't know if that even made sense. That analogy made. I don't know if that analogy made sense, but it made sense to me in my head. Uh, 
<laughs> basically it's like you go after you go after what you want and you don't care about the obstacles in the way or who has something to say about it or how hard it might be or how far-fetched it might be you're like i'm gonna get it and i'm gonna have a smart plan to get it where it's like even the people who doubted me the most they will once you hear my once you see me execute this plan you're gonna be like but why did she make that look why did she make that look so easy and why does she make that make sense like when she first talked about it or when she first mentioned it or set that goal it sounded so far-fetched it made it it sounded like no sense like there was no way in their brain that they could conceptualize your goals and aspirations and dreams for it to make sense for them right but you sat down and you sit down and you write out a plan and you you make a deliberate plan to make a step-by-step -step plan it doesn't matter if it's a one-year plan a five-year plan a 10-year plan a 20-year a lifetime plan it doesn't matter you will set it out in a sense where it makes sense and it happens because step by step you execute every single step and you make it come true People are obsessed with watching your progress. People are obsessed with watching you make your dreams come true. And they only call it dreams because in their head it doesn't make sense. And to their head it's impossible. But to you, it's not even a dream. To you, it's a goal. To you, it's the next step in the journey. To them, it's so far-fetched. To you, that's not even the end goal. <laughs> to them, something is so impossible. And to you, you're just like... Oh, I'm gonna get that done tomorrow and then I'm gonna move on to the next thing I gotta get that out the way so I can move on to the next step of my actual plan of my to get to my actual goal like the end goal yeah so how number three that is your reading and that is why people are obsessed with you obsessed with you um, I hope it resonated honestly I do <laughs> I'll be hoping my readings resonate with y'all so much because the energy is just so bomb claim it claim it even if it doesn't resonate with who you are right now claim it it's such great energy so hope it resonated if it did make sure to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below letting me know what part you came from and how it resonated also be sure to subscribe to my channel with the bell notification on so you can be notified whenever i upload i upload every single day and sometimes multiple times throughout the day so make sure you stay on top of that also you should check out my description box for my links to the rest of my platforms uh to the rest of my profiles on all platforms so tiktok instagram twitter which is now called x and pinterest i post on those throughout the week as well try to post every day sometimes i miss like a day or two but usually every platform gets me at least four times a week and i post multiple times on a day on most of those platforms here and there um, also, you can check out my Patreon, subscribe to my Patreon. I have multiple tiers. Different tiers has different percentages off of my personal readings. And you can find the link to my personal reading, my personal readings in the description box as well. You can book them on Etsy. Um, and yes, those are my messages for you guys. I love each and every single one of you guys. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Okay, pile number four. If you pick the photo, I love this photo so much. If you pick the photo with the walk-in closet, this low-key looks like Aaliyah, Aaliyah's face, Aaliyah's closet. I don't know if it is. I don't think it is, but it kind of looks like hers. But if, if you pick this photo, then this is a reading for you. So Lord Heavenly Father, please tap me into pile number four's energy so I may deliver these messages to them with accuracy and precision, honesty and truth for the good of all and harm to none. Amen. So Lord Heavenly Father, why are people obsessed with my pile number fours? Okay, so looking at this is you have a very nice wardrobe, you have a very nice closet, you could have a very nice house or a very big house and or a very big house. If you have a very nice closet, like you can have a walk-in closet. Um, you can also have a bar, whether in your house or in your closet, because I remember uh, watching like a house tour on like Open House, that show, and when I was back home. In New York so you can also live in like a expensive city and have a nice house in an expensive city so people are like how do you afford that basically or like an expensive state and have a really nice house in an expensive state um, or like town or whatever so even like Paris or London or Tokyo London Paris maybe Tokyo something's going on eh. you could also be famous or like a singer cousin Haley Duff 
or like grew up watching Hilary Duff um, or like Lizzie McGuire, the Lizzie McGuire show. Okay, but, or you could also like, I was gonna say, you could like Aaliyah, like Aaliyah's face, um, or like you can watch her and it'll have a lifestyle like hers. So you can also be like a lifestyle influencer, like a beauty guru, an esthetician, things like that. So those are reasons why people are obsessed with you, they're obsessed with your lifestyle, they're obsessed with watching you, they're obsessed with your makeup, how you do your hair and your makeup, they're obsessed with your job, a lot of people want to live the same lifestyle as you, People, a lot of people want your job basically. Um, so be careful with who you're sharing your your time with, your space with, telling your business to, because a lot of people want your life, a lot of people want your job, a lot of people want your spots. Okay, people are just obsessed with you overall. Also, if you have a Lady Dior bag, people are obsessed with that too, so they want that. People be thinking about stealing your stuff and like lucking in your stuff, like. People are also obsessed with figuring out how much money you keep in your bag. So if you have like a designer bag and you got with your designer bag, people are like, oh, I wonder if she carries like stacks of bread, and like stacks of cash in there. So people are also obsessed with how much money you have and what your bank account looks like. Um, people are also obsessed with your shoes. Okay, your shoe collection, your bag collection, things like that. Like you can have like a really nice collection. And if you was to do a video on your collection, then people will be really happy and um, enjoy it. So if you do social media, you could, you might want to think about doing that as a content idea, like sharing your shoe collection, basically. I low key might do that because I love shoes and bags. So I don't really have the design, much designer stuff, but I do have some nice stuff. So I don't know, I'll think about it. Let me know in the comment section below if you would like to see a bag collection and or a shoe collection. Oh, gotcha. Okay, so what have my father? Why, uh, why are people obsessed with my account number four? Uh, we have yes in reverse. I'm not gonna take this though. They said don't take that. Why are people obsessed with it? my account number fours? Okay, we have the sun and the magician. No, the star and the magician, but the sun is also a star. <laughs> I love that movie. Have you watched that movie? I love that movie. We have the star and the magician coming out. So the star is Uranus energy and Aquarius energy. So you can be an Aquarius, an Aquarian. <laughs> and then uh, the magician is Mercury energy. So Gemini and Virgo. Um, okay, so you have a very unique style and or you just dress differently from people around you. So you could be around people who don't really have as much as you do, which is why they like um if you own designer stuff oh you just own like expensive things or you own like a lot of things then or you like live a luxury luxurious lifestyle things like that and then the people around you don't then they're looking at you so i'm looking you people are obsessed with you because you're giving success story out of your town um or like the people around you like you're the most successful one out of your, your group so people are obsessed with you and people want to keep you in their loop keep you in their group so they can basically leech off the energy, kind of figure out what you're doing, figure out how you do it, things like that. Um, people are also obsessed with you because you give off witchy energy or like Sirenian. And is that a word? Okay, so you could give, you could be a star seed, si siren. Um, siren is the is the mermaid. That's what I was basically trying to say first, like originally trying to say, but then it sounded like uh, Syrian yeah and then that's what i'm trying to go with when i'm saying like star seed so you could be like the odd one out the black sheep um however you're like the successful one so you could be like the rich auntie things like that like you're the successful one of the family you're the successful one of your town you're the successful successful one out of your group um like your friend group which honestly if that's the case you need a new friend group <laughs> like um and then we also have the lovers so this is again gemini and Mer and virgo coming out mercury energy um you just really you're good at talking you take care of yourself so you could also be somebody who treats yourself a lot so people are obsessed with you because this is actually like your energy is good but the people around you is not like people are obsessed with you um like people want to keep you around and keep you being their friend because with the star card one you're either like a celebrity like famous a star um, or you're just really wealthy and have like a lot of money and have a lot, a lot of, and have a lot of things going for you. So people want to keep you around because they're hoping with the magician, they're trying to manifest you giving to them, like how you give to yourself. So when you buy yourself 
a very expensive gift or you spend money on, your, on yourself or something like that when you get something new people are hoping like people are low-key envious and they want you to spend that type of money on them like people are keeping you around and staying around you because they want they want what you have and they want you to give it to them because they're not willing to work towards getting it they feel like you just get things full up like get things by magic basically with the magician like they things things just appear for you you don't have to work for it you never have to put in the work you never have to do anything things just come came to you easily your whole life that's what they're feeling that's what they're assuming so they're like now they want things to come to them easily and they want you to basically get them everything so like if you have a lady your bag they want you to buy them a lady your bag if you have a cartier love bracelet they want you to buy them a cartier love bracelet so they're gonna act like such great friends with you like look at the lovers card like they're gonna like you know invite you to get ready with them and you know have a girls night and like do all these things in a sense of getting a piece of your like in hopes of getting a piece of your pie and being spoiled and treated like if their birthday is coming up then they're gonna be hoping that you get them like a really nice and expensive birthday gift because they invite you to the party or because they spent the day with you or they took you, like they asked you to go out to eat or if they ask you to go out to eat with them on their birthday they're gonna hope that you pay their pay for their bill pay for their lunch pay for their meal because they're like oh you have all this money like why won't you you should spend it on me too basically and then with the hermit at the bottom of the deck you probably have like a sense like you probably pick this up so you spend more time with yourself now and you kind of go with it and like you learn how to very much so love yourself take care of yourself and enjoy your own time alone curled up with either like a book with a face mask on or like watching tv or something like that so you might have came from like power one or power two or something like that came from another pile let me not like tell you which piles but yeah so or you might have been drawn to another pile if you were you might want to go check those out but yeah so you kind of just learn how to love yourself and have yourself be your best friend because you've had so many people like this around you in the past and you didn't want to go through it again and you realize that you was picking up on that energy from the new people that's around you as well so you kind of just learn how to stay to yourself and because of this you're manifesting more of abundance for yourself you're going to reach a higher level of fame and a high level of abundance high level of success as well um so congratulations you've made the right choice keep it to yourself because those people really were fake and really were snakes and really was just trying to leech off of you and uh, take your energy your, t your time your money your abundance things like that um because they basically want to people are obsessed with you because of the status you give them and the image you give them so if people are seen with you they're seen as like popular and you know well liked and famous and they'll basically whenever people see you with them um see them with you they be like oh you know her like can you put me on like oh like people are like oh they must be cool if you hang out with them you know so be careful about who you allow around you because you are giving these people a good reputation and if you don't want people if they don't really deserve a good reputation then i would say you know don't be careful about who you're being seen around because if that person can't keep up that good reputation on their own then people are going to start looking at you crazy because they're going to be like oh if she can if she'll hang out with her but she's like this like she just hangs out with anyone then you know so be careful about who you're hanging out with I'm gonna get one more card for you and then we have maybe no we're gonna okay so maybe came out upright yes came out in reverse and so the message i was getting from that was very much so like you don't say yes to everybody and you kind of stay to yourself but like that came out in different cards so yeah okay we have the moon you keep a lot of things secret and private to yourself and so that's also pisces energy and then the moon is ruled by cancer so i don't consider too yeah but um you are very much so like you stay to yourself and you don't really let people know about your business which is very smart that is actually very smart so that's why people are obsessed with you people want to know what it is that you're doing justice and that's 11 so new beginnings truth karma fairness and accountability you're very honest with people and you you stay to you okay i'm taking too many cards i said one more anyway because now i'm getting too many messages <sighs> i'm gonna put down the cards because no more but yes you stay to yourself you don't let people know about your business um and this is and you're gonna get a lot of good karma for this and this is i feel as though you're doing this you do this because you already been through this you already had people try to take advantage of you for who you are and what you do and what you have so you already learned this like you can already pick up the energy like you're very intuitive and you pick up the energy 
of fake friends of fake people and people who are just trying to use you use and abuse you so you're gonna get a lot of good karma for this because you know the more your world is basically a projection of what you think and everything like that so people are trying people are trying to use you for your status and your abundance and you were smart enough to not let people use them and abuse you so then now your karma is going to be that you're going to be even more successful you're going to be even more famous your status is going to be increasing even more and that's what's going to make these people even more obsessed and je i was hearing jealous jealous of you as well so the people from the past that used to be obsessed with you and try to leech off of you they are already even more obsessed with you now than they were before because the success and fame and accomplishments that you had before had grown from when they were originally obsessed with you. So now you have new people that's obsessed with you, probably more successful people who have more who you thought, okay, they wouldn't try to use me because they have the same thing. Um, you're more successful than they are. At least in their eyes you know people are always comparing themselves to other people so just like how you thought your old friends that you was hanging out with were on the same level as you but then they try to use you because they put you on a pedestal your new friends who you thought was on the same level as you that wasn't going to do that they also put you on a pedestal they're also trying to use you so now you're going to increase even more and you're going to leave those people behind and you're going to continue to progress and become better and better and better and yeah that is why people are obsessed with you because you are quick to leave people behind and then you always get good karma because you always have pure intentions and you always are looking for genuine real friends and not really trying to leech off you never try to leech off of anyone so then because of that you get good karma and then you just leave those people behind and increase and improve yourself as well and the thing is if they were honestly just honest with you and truthful with you with the justice card coming out too it's crazy they were just honest with you and truthful with you and just ask you for your help and ask you okay how do you do things like that and were honestly just a genuine friend then you they probably wouldn't be able to eat with you but instead they instead of them trying to learn how to fend for themselves to learn how to you know fund themselves and learn how to you know if they were honest and be like yo i'm honestly a fan i you inspire me uh, i look up to you so much like can you be my mentor can you teach me how to do this yada yada even if, like they don't they don't want to support your work they don't want to like watch your videos and like it and support it and you know buy your um services and buy your books and buy you know your buy your programs and things like that they wouldn't do that they will just try to leech off you like they wouldn't buy your stuff and watch your stuff and learn from you in order to learn how to do what you do no instead they would want to they just want to leech off of you so then they don't have to put in the work and then they can just leech off of the work that you've done basically and it's like say say you have a book but like say you wrote a book and you put in the book on how to um how to become successful or you have you made a program like a module a program with different modules teaching you how to be successful in something that you were successful in instead of them trying to buy the book to and read the book or buy the modules and watch the videos like buy the program and watch the videos and the modules and learn how to do it themselves they wouldn't try they wouldn't even try to support you they won't even mention the fact that you know they know that you have a book or that you they know that you have the modules or anything like that they would just completely ignore it and try to just leech off of you instead but yeah anyway those are your messages pile number four i hope it resonated if it did make sure to like comment and subscribe um yeah like this video leave a comment below letting me know what pile you came from and how it resonated also be sure to subscribe to my channel with the bell notification on uh, so you can know if i whenever i upload i post every single day sometimes multiple times throughout the day um also be sure to check out my description box so you can find the links to my other platforms on i'm on twitter instagram tiktok and pinterest twitter is now called x so yeah um also you can find my patreon in the description box below i have different tiers the different tiers give you a different amount of percentage off of oh my gosh a different percentage amount off of uh my personal readings and you can find the link to my personal reading um in the description box as well i you can book it through etsy um, and yeah, those are all the messages I have for you. Pound number four. I love each and every single one of you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.